It is spring planting day at the Living History Farm in Conway. Stick with us. We're going to have a great morning. Let's find out why Amanda Kenseth is up early at a local farm this morning. Well, the spring now underway, it is time for planting at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm in Conway. You can learn all of how planting tobacco and corn at the site this weekend as they recreate the old days on the farm. WPD News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live there with details and doing a little picking, aren't you, Amanda? That's right. Well, I'm doing a little washboarding, I think you would call this, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> so we've got a fun morning plan showcasing all kinds of stuff. But first of all, I would like to introduce Robert Blair. I'm super excited. This is the man who is with me every morning behind the camera, and I can never get him on camera <laughs> until today. So thank you for great, bringing a guitar. Great. Yeah. <laughs> great. So, okay, talk about talk about this Saturday, and um, you, will you guys be playing music? Sure, we're going to have music over in the church this Saturday, and of course, music was very much a, uh, a part of uh, this time period before electricity. They had to entertain themselves, but our main uh, focus is on planting our. Uh, crops in the field. It's that time of year and time to go and get the dirt moving and get the plants in the ground. Yeah, well, that's an important time of year. Sure, without that they could not uh, have had food because not much cash to go buy things with and so they were trying to plant everything possible that they would want to eat. Sure, we got to prepare for that. All right, so I want to learn how to play the washboard. I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all start and see if I can join in. <laughs> I wish I could be there and have some jugs to blow over. Okay. Well, <laughs> it sounds pretty good. All right, thanks a lot. Well, Saturday's event runs from 9 to 3. Everyone is welcome, and there is no admission fee. You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Glassbold, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinzen. A free event this weekend will let you plan on a one-horse family farm in Conway, just like they used to back in the day. WPDE, News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth. She's been doing a little picking on a washboard, and what are you doing now, Amanda? Yeah, now I'm getting ready to sew or attempt to sew. I have Mama or Granny with me now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people call you around here, right? Yeah. All right, so, I mean, that's how you pretty much had all your clothes back then, right? That's right. Had to we, sew them, had to make them. Yeah, where everything we wore was uh, made on the sewing machine on the old Singer pedal type machine. And uh, we had to uh, have clothes that could take the weather and all, and Mama would sew and make all of it. And some of the material was come in on like flower sacks, like my apron. It's um, see, it was made out of, you know, the flower would come in a flower sack, and, oh. and we could sew. She'd sew us things with designs on it, like you know. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So um. So just. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. So so how do I do this? Okay, if you just start it with there and run, put your needle down, and you pedal with it as a in a rhythm like, just back and forth. <laughs> That's right. It's a good Keep thing it going. That, uh, you don't, you don't to want to go backwards. Just make it go forward. <laughs> I obviously don't have a lot of experience in that. There we go. We've got some. No, sort you're of going assistant. backwards now. Oh. Make it and make it come forward. Settle <laughs> yeah. it fast, and it'll and it'll come forward. There oh, you go. Oh, I think we're going to need some more practice it. on this. Okay, yeah. so um, for me, it's a good thing that there's stores now because. I wouldn't be able to make any clothing. <laughs> I'll send it back to you. I'm going to keep practicing. Yeah, keep practicing. I should have sent my trousers over there. You could have hemmed those up for me. Saturday's event at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm runs from 9 to 3. Everyone is welcome, and there is no admission fee. Well, spring is officially here, and that means it's time 
for planting at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm in Conway. They're stepping back in time this weekend, and the public is invited to go there and visit. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live there, and she's being put to work this morning. That's right, I am. Now I am sawing. What are we doing now? Yeah, the uh, farmer on his farm before electricity had to have some way to cook, had to have some way to heat water, even to wash with. And anything he needed to have heat for, of course, wood was the fuel. You can't burn a whole tree, so we had to cut it up. So we got a cross-cut saw here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you going first or me? All right, so I tried to do this without you earlier, and it didn't work so well. So this is definitely a two-person job right here. Yeah, they, they say you, well, when you put on a cross-cut saw, you get more heat from the wood because you get a good workout, and you heat up that way. Yeah, there you go. You can get a nice yeah. early you're morning in workout. Rhythm, you're in a rhythm uh, stage everywhere we go today, aren't we? Yeah, rhythm. We had to do the rhythm when we were playing music or playing the washboards. I finally got to the rhythm. Nobody on uh, the viewers didn't see it, but after the camera went off, I uh, finally got in the rhythm and learned to sew. And now we're in a rhythm here. So, yeah, that is really important, isn't it? So you guys will be doing all kinds of stuff like this this weekend. Sure. We're going to be able to uh, have a a lot of folks out, volunteers to help us and they'll demonstrate all these skills, all the things that'll be going on in the spring of the year. Oh, we're making some progress. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna keep working on this and uh, pretty soon that log is gonna fall right off. Jason. You're gonna have some big muscles by the time you get done with that live shot, Amanda. All right, thanks a lot. Well, Saturday's event runs from nine to three. Everyone is welcome and there is no admission fee. The L.W. Paul Living History Farm in Conway is taking visitors back to a simpler time this weekend, teaching them about planting tobacco and corn as they recreate old days on the farm. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live there with details on the spring but planting the event. And it uh, looks like you're, what do you do? You're plowing now? We go when we yes, start how road. cool is this? Take a look. Oh my gosh. So talk about what we're doing. This okay. is super cool. We're this is definitely something I've never done before. <laughs> <laughs> We've got many of the mule hooked up in this animal. Without that mule, they could not survive. She's a very important animal for our planting day. Cultivating the ground, doing everything that a farmer would do with the tractor today, this animal took care of that. Of course, we have a plow hooked up. Yeah. We want to see a man to plow here. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to try this. All right. You know, we stop. It's whoa. G is right. Ha is left. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> Come up, Minnie. Get up. Get up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean stop. I just, Come on. that's. <laughs> Come on, Minnie. Get up, girl. <laughs> Easy now. Well, Easy, hey, girl. so this is how it was done way back when. <laughs> Easy. Whoa, girl. Well, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, so it's not that bad. It's just uh, coordination and being able to walk at a fast speed and uh, know your animal and their personality. Wow, wow. Here you go. So this is totally cool. And you'll be doing this? Sure, this weekend. we're going to be doing it this weekend starting at 9 a.m. Saturday morning. And we'll be working till about 3 o'clock out in the field along with everything else going on blacksmithing, music in the church, sewing, making soap. A great day. Really a neat way to find out how they did it way back when, and uh, we're going to keep going. Come up, Minnie. Yeah, I told you you needed to wear some shoes you could get dirty. All right, Saturday's event runs from 9 to 3. Everyone is welcome, and there is no admission fee.